Hello everyone and welcome to a video about marketing and how you should be running your sort of engagement process with some of your prospective clients. So as you can see in the screen now, we've got our Facebook page up. Now here is a post that we posted on the 24th of January. Uh, so what we've done here is we've written a blog post ourselves uh, and it, this, for us this was a series about landing pages that we can combine together. We then use that blog post to promote everywhere else, so on Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, you know, sh sh just generally sharing our information, our content and getting it out there to the wider audience letting people know that they can have the knowledge themselves or they can come to us and we can help them. So as you can see the page has actually got quite good engagement. Um, so the, the reason it's got this is because it naturally gained momentum and just as the momentum of the page started to um, dwindle a bit, so obviously it being through people's timelines, it, it had gone away, we then run a paid ad. So here's, this is like this is the interface for the paid ad. As you can see, it reached, uh, it's reached at the moment over 1,056 people. Now we're not spending a lot of money here, we're just trying to keep the local area aware of us and then try and, and, and reach small bits of engagement here. From here, people will then click through to hopefully the page itself, the landing page, and we want to keep people's attention. So we're giving them a lot of information, but in chunks. Uh, and as you can see, we're showing off other people's landing pages. So we're not just saying, look, here's our landing page. Look at other people's landing pages. I then give them a brief overview of the design, and then I tell them what to do next. So again, I'm trying to engage with them. Hey, you've you've read this. Here's what you should do next. Uh, but also on this page to try and keep people contacting us to keep us having means to contact people engaging with us on the left hand side we have contact information for not just directly to us but direct to our social networks that we use so we've got our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus and YouTube and then the big one, the big one that's really going to be helpful and beneficial to you is join our newsletter and obviously this stands out very very promptly against the rest of the, the page at the very top. Reason being is I want people to sign up because I want people to get more information about me and my company and what we do because I want people to understand that we know what we're doing and that they need to use us to help them move forward in their marketing procedures. So with that said, we also want to engage in people not just them contacting us, but us contacting them. So as you can see in the bottom corner, we have a chat now but the chat now is quite good because we have it that we can talk to other people as you were about to see. So in a second it will let, there we go. So here you go. So this is Jamie, he works with me and as you can see, hello my name is Jamie, how can I help you today? So we, we're, we're looking at engagement from not, on. this is a digital engagement, not just the user constantly coming to us and asking for us, but we're also willing to go digitally to them and see if we can help them. And these are the sort of things you should be implement, implementing into your online strategies. I hope this short video helped uh, and we'll bring you some more soon. Bye.